Hello everybody, welcome to Mark's Remarks. Today I'm going to be making another sandwich using my new favourite bread, which is uh, what's it called? Sliced Tiger Bloomer. There we are. Um, now, Tiger Bread has got a little bit, it used to have a, a lot of Marmite on the top, but they're starting to reduce the Marmite, which is good. I'm not a big fan. But I'm, that's my new favourite bread. I'm going to be using some Welsh Mature Cheddar. There you go. I hope you can read that. Uh, somebody I know went to Wales and they brought me back some Welsh Mature Cheddar along with some Welsh Apple Chutney. So I'm looking forward to trying this because I've tried pretty much all the chutneys I'm going to find in the shop. It's getting hard to find new ones. So we're going to give this one a go along with some tomato and uh, you know some other stuff. Right, let's, uh, let's take a look. Okay, first thing we need to do is cut up the tomato. There we are. Now, I've already taken the top off and hollowed it out. It's just something I do. I don't particularly go with the seeds. There's nothing wrong with the seeds, but uh, I just don't eat them. Anyway, I've got a, what seems to be, I haven't used this uh, knife in a while. It uh, seems to be fairly sharp. I'm cutting the tomato as thin as I possibly can make it. There you go, into very, very thin slices. So I can, uh, rather than have a few thick slices, get lots of thin ones, which uh, I can just spread out further through the sandwich. There we go. And it's, um, yeah, it's a lot easier with a sharp knife. You've got a blunt knife, it's really, really difficult. Okay, so. Slice tomato. Next is the cheese. Now this is my uh, little trick I invented a little while back. It, you take a potato peeler and you uh, grate or uh, you know I don't know what you'd call this. Uh, you you, you uh, make ribbons out of the cheese. It's a whole lot more economical than using a knife to cut the slices because you're making all, you know, all different thicknesses of cheese. These are all uniform ribbons. There you go. You get it, it works out. I find it, you know, it makes the cheese last longer because when you cut them with a knife, you're cutting like six different thicknesses of cheese with a knife. Uh, you know, but with a potato peeler, it's all the same. First ingredient, well chapel chutney. Okay, let's give it a, give it a sniff. Hmm. Doesn't smell much like apples. Hmm. It smells like a few. Uh, I can smell a few herbs in there. Yeah. Actually, I've just had a quick taste of it. It tastes kind of sweet. Ah, you know what? Cause it's got. Uh, I can see a raisin in there. There you go. It's got a raisin. That's what I could. Uh, it's quite nice, actually. It's, it's quite thin. It's not as thick as some of the chutneys. There seems to be a, a, a little, you know, quite a bit of moisture in here. And uh, not too many raisins, just a few. But, hmm, it smells nice. It tastes sweet. Okay. So that's the chutney. Um, put a little bit of cheese. On top of the chutney. Yeah, it is actually, it's nice to find a new chutney because I've been, I think I've tried pretty much everything. Every shop I go into, I look at the chutneys. I want to find something I, hasn't, I haven't tried. Okay. 
Now my old favourite, pastrami. Yeah, this is one of my favourite meats. Uh, I had to get this from Tesco. But if you want value for money, go down to Costco. They sell this in big packs. Oh, well, I mean, you've, um, if you look at my early sandwiches, it comes in a pack, you know, this, you get 10 times the amount of this in a, in a pack from Costco. Uh, okay, so a couple of slices of um, pastrami. Now this, this very thin tomato. Because it's thin, you can sort of move, you know, spread it around. If it's thick, you you know, it's kind of just, uh, it's just there. But when it's thin, you can spread it over. There you go. Uh, what else? What else? Um, the last bit of cheese. Yeah, this Welsh mature cheddar is very nice. You know, it doesn't doesn't taste too much different than the uh, regular mature cheddar that I've been trying, but it's still very nice. Okay, a bit more uh, pastrami. Now, there we are, close up. There you go, it's looking quite nice, quite a chunky sandwich. Yeah, like I say, go to Costco and get their pastrami. You can pile this up. If you get a big pack, very cheap. Okay, put the top on. I'm using my uh, cutting board today. Yeah, sometimes I forget, sometimes it's... Uh, in this sink. Okay, I'm gonna cut it into diagonal. There we are. And there's an inside shot. Okay. Let's give this a Taste test. Yeah, I'm kind of, <coughs> kind of looking forward to this because it's a, a, a sweet. I, like, I do like the sweet chutneys. We like most chutneys are pretty sweet. Some of them are a bit sweet and sour, but apple chutney, very nice. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. That apple chutney is the first thing that comes through. Then that Welsh cheese. But that chutney is very nice. There's no um there's no website. But the company is called Welsh Speciality Foods. Rudlam, which is R H U D D L A N postcode L L one eight five U Z. That's the only information on here. It's a shame because I'd like to take a look at their uh, website if they had one, but there's not one on here. Ingredients: uh, fifty five percent apples. It's got sugar, onions, malt vinegar, sultanas, black treacle, garlic powder. Something called all spice. Yeah. Anyway, let's give it another bite. Mm. Oh, this is a very good chutney. It's quite, uh, you know, it's not overpoweringly sweet, but definitely sweet. Yeah. If I find somebody who's going over to Wales, I'll, I'll see if I can get me a, get me another jar of this. Mm. Yeah, the Welsh the Welsh cheese isn't overpowering as well, considering it's mature. Mm. I'll tell you what, this this does 
make for a good sandwich. I would imagine the chutney goes with uh, it would go for a lot other meat sandwiches. Pork, beef, beef, basically anything. Any kind of meat. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. I'm looking forward to using the rest of the jar actually. There you go. If you happen to uh, find yourself in Wales. You can't go wrong with uh, some of this, you know. Anyway, so that's just a another sandwich using pastrami, cheese, tomato, chutney on tiger bread. There you go. Very nice. I'm very pleased with this. It's a very tasty chutney. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to put a few links up here as usual. And for those that are interested, uh, I'll put my I'll put a link here to my allotment videos, where you can have a look at the chickens and uh, they'll be carrying on, and uh, also a few other food videos. And uh, let me know what you think if that was useful. If if you live in Wales, maybe you've tried this. You know, let me know what you think. You know this uh, this chutney. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching.